Good morning, folks. As you watch the incoming plasma filament in 304 and 171 angstroms, know it is a big day. We've got geomagnetic storms across the planet. They're making the next earthquake uptick wait until it passes to come to life. We've got major weather alerts and an incredible group of articles that includes experts' prediction of an extragalactic X-ray event in 2017 or 2018. Bet you're awake now. More on Europa and a brand new map from the WHO, but... We will begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last day on our star was relatively calm, except for a repeater filament destabilization in the south. There are absolutely no solar flares, as the only sunspots on the disk stabilized with their spread, and are heading for the far side down to the right. If you remember yesterday, we saw a similar southern filament rip. Coronagraphs were not updated as of yesterday's news, but they are now. Most ejecta misses right and south. And we see ejecta left of center, though, which means it was a broad eruption. Little sun diving comet cutting up through the CME from the bottom right there. It is dying this morning on Lasco's C2 camera feed. Now, I don't see much reason to worry about the CME, and neither does NOAA, who isn't even tracking the burst. But NASA says a puny impact could occur on the 1st of October, so we'll be watching, I suppose. The one this morning was more of a collapse and shift laterally to the departing sunspot than a CME release. You can see the surge. Of course, the real space weather story for a few days has been geomagnetic activity. The storms hit level 2 last night as speed of the solar wind intensified over 700 kilometers per second, and density stayed near the heights of the pre-stream impact. Reverberations and continuation is expected a bit longer, and with it, the only real news to report from beneath our feet the last day was Rinjani going off in Indonesia. Not a massive volcano eruption, but it caught an updraft into a cloud and delayed a good number of flights because of the ash. We did take two five-pointers in Greece and a couple potential blot echoes. The watch doesn't begin, however, until the magnetosphere calms down, and you should be checking our Twitter in the evenings for location alerts, which are now fairly settled in for the duration of this one. On to our top stories. This is a compliment to yesterday's Europa water jet story, more images, and including where they think these water jets are coming from. The last image next to the alleged impact crater is very interesting as is the entire paper. But folks, without question, the top story is a periastron between stars, the moment when binaries come closest to one another, and scientists believe the light time delay will allow the light and energy from their encounter to reach Earth in the next two years. At some point between now and the end of 2018, scientists expect a major extragalactic X-ray event as a close encounter of these stars begins to create hard emission and likely super flares from one or both of the stars themselves. Eyes open. Stepping down to the latest aerosol pollutants map for the planet, this shows about 90% of the world's population is subject to significant hazards. This follows the revelation that hundreds of thousands of deaths in southern Asia are actually due to the pollution. Moving on to weather, where southern Australia seeing 90 km per hour winds is expected. The storm is about twice as strong as that one over New Zealand right now, and could be the worst in half a century. Weather shares welcomed. We also need to be monitoring an earth spot heading to curl into southern Japan, so in about a week, the quake location alerts could shift again. We've also got tropical formation expected to shift into the Caribbean, which is part of the basis for the nearby alert there. Much thanks for tuning in today. We greatly appreciate your support and your vision to see where so many important aspects of our world are heading. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.